Hey what's up guys, Matt here. Today I'll be going through the Gemini Jets October 2018 new releases. Before I do, um, uh, Mystery Aviation wanted me to give him a shout out. He is sort of bringing back his channel, um, he's been away for a while. And uh, he's changing the focus of his channel towards New Zealand, Australia and Pacific aviation news. Still a little bit of plane spotting here and there. But... Uh, He's changing his focus, and he's brought out his first episode, of course, as you can see right here. And uh, so if you want to, go check him out. And, um, yeah, let's get right into these new releases. Gemini Jets' website, of course, already on the release page. I don't usually do this. Um, but anyway, Alaska Airlines Q400 in 438QX. Fantastic looking model. British Airways 757-200. G C P E L. This is pretty cool. Um, there's sort of a black ring around the nose cone. Um, don't sort of don't know really why they would do that, but could, well, continue on. I just don't think it really goes. I don't see what they're trying to do with the the tail and the nose. Makes no sense to me. Okay. Um, but this is more of like one of those culture tails. British Airways had done, I think, in the seven four seven two hundreds. And uh, it's pretty cool, but I don't know what it's about, and there's no, well, there's nothing here to say what it's about. So uh, I'm not even going to speculate because it's too difficult to tell. Delta Airlines A3, sorry, A350, seven five seven three hundred, cool model. I don't think people are really wanting another A350 from Delta because uh, it's already pretty early. Delta MD-88 Etihad Cargo 777 Freighter uh, A6DD Sorry, the uh, last two registrations were for the 757 Delta in 581 NW and for the MD-88 in 903DE Sorry about that Year of the Zaya delivery for this model um, Looks pretty good Hawaiian Airlines A330-200 Coincidentally, I just did a review on this livery, 1-200 scale, in 380HA. I would, you know, if you're a 1-400 collector, I would highly recommend you get this. I um, I absolutely love my model in this livery. Rex, Regional Express, Saab 340 VHZRL. United Airlines 787-10 in 78791. That registration has given me a bit of OCD. Should be in 78710. Anyway, uh, fantastic looking model. Now we move on to 1200. Now, I'm just going to say these are the best releases we've had in 1200 for a long time. Th there were a couple releases uh, this year that were sort of getting there, but they weren't quite good releases they were sort of on par just average but uh, they've really outdone themselves a nice variety of models uh, plenty I'll be getting but also to see it's so surprising a bigger release than one 400 scale this is not often you see this so um with, with the, these releases in total I am quite impressed with uh, Gemini Jets Start off here with the Air Canada Q400. I will be getting this model because I saw this about three or four times. Spotted about three or four times, I should say, in Toronto. I've seen it plenty more than that. Um, and uh, well, I will have a video, of course, or videos maybe, uh, from Toronto. Uh, extreme close-up type videos, so you know you get the full effect of the the props. Registration is CGGOY. It's 80 Nui 787-9 F-O-N-U-I We saw this last month in 1400 Glad to see it, of course it was always going to um, be released in 1 to 200 scale But, you know, just like the Hawaiian livery You always wondered How could they make something better Or something more perfect When it was already perfect because Hawaiian Airlines and Etahiti Nui, you would have thought if they change their livery, it's only going to be worse. 
Amazingly, they both made their liveries better. And both their liveries suit their aircraft, which it's amazing, really. And it's it's really good to see a slightly updated livery. And I really love this Air to 18 Nui um, 787. They've just received their first one, which is this registered aircraft, from uh, Charleston. And uh, first flight is going to be to Auckland in November. Same day they're going to fly to Lax, but Auckland will be the first destination. And I will be, or try and be out there for its inaugural, inaugural flight uh, coming in. Now we move on to Alaska Airlines A320 in 625VA. I'm definitely going to get this model. Um, I've seen this quite a few times when I was in the States. And I think it would go well in my collection. I've two other Alaska Airlines models. 737s of course, because that is their fleet. Um, Boeing 747LCF, the Dreamlifter. This is an amazing model. I'm so glad they released this in 747 PC with opening fuselage. So as you can see here, there's a high amount of detail inside the empennage section. Uh, we haven't got any photos from inside the main cargo area, the main fuselage area. But uh, I, I don't suspect it'd be detailed all the way down, possibly up to about the trailing edge of the wings here. That's sort of where I expect all the detail to be. And then it's just going to be quite blank. But it's uh, just to have the even even the door opening, or the, the, car, yeah, the cargo door opening, it's it's amazing. Um, Gemini Jets has done fantastic, and I think they're really trying to regain back customers um, because they will qu be being quite boring with releases and things like that and I think they lost quite a few customers so they know they're trying to get a few customers back and I think this is a good way to do it I saw this aircraft 2008-2009 uh, um, I went to the Boeing factory in Everett I saw three of them together they have, I think they have four but I saw three of them together which is not a common sight and uh, I don't have any photos. I wasn't actually taking photos. I was just walking around, being impressed by all the all the um, aircraft out there pre-delivery or whatever. It was so cool to see. Eastern seven four seven one hundred in seven three five PA. This is an awesome looking aircraft. Really like the livery on the seven four seven four hundred uh, one hundred. Um, especially with that polished belly. Is it polished or is it grey? I'm not sure what Eastern used to have. I think it's, I think it is polished. Emirates A380 A6EUC Expo 2020. So this is the yeah, it's just the updated logo. Um, nothing special. Just another Emirates A380. FedEx A300 600 freighter in 683FE cool looking model this one not many of these older Airbus like A300, A310s get released so it's kinda cool to see this one but um, I won't be getting that one really FedEx 777 Freighter in 886FD don't really want this one, I have plenty of time to get to previous releases but um, my interest in FedEx isn't really that high I do have the MD11F only because they fly them into Auckland, that's about it. Qantas A380 VH OQF, new livery. Um, looks pretty nice on the A380, I must admit. But uh, it's, it's kind of funny to see Skippy's hands chopped off. US Air DC-9 in 950VJ. That's a really cool aircraft. And last is the Viva Aerobus A320neo XAVIV. That is yeah, it's not it's not boring, like it's got a bit of colour to it, but it's still fuselage is still quite quite um most of it's quite boring, but 
Yeah, it's not not overly boring, to be honest. It's kind of cool in a way. Anyway, that's going to be it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did. Comment. Tell me what you think of these releases. Tell me which ones you're going to get. I think this is a fantastic release. Um, I'm just going to recap which models I'm going to get again. So this is the Air Canada Q400, Air Tahiti 787, Alaska A320, and the Boeing 747 Dreamlifter. So those first four models in one uh, 200. Um, just re really easy for me to choose from this release because it's, it was such a fantastic release. Nothing else really interests me um, too much at all. But these these four definitely uh, took my eye, and uh, I'm very very excited. Anyway, guys, please subscribe for more. Share as well so other people know about this release and see if they're winning any of these. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.